Evaluate 0 plus y plus negative 7 when y is equal to negative 3, y is equal to 0, and y is equal to 7. So let's take the first situation where y is equal to negative 3. Then this expression right here would be 0 plus negative 3, because that's our y now, plus negative 3 plus negative 7. Plus negative 7. Now, 0 plus or minus anything won't change its value. So you can really just ignore the 0 here. So this is going to be the same thing. This is going to be the exact same thing as negative 3, negative 3, plus negative 7. Plus, it's a different color plus negative 7. Negative 3 plus negative 7. And now we could draw a number line here just to help us visualize it. But even if you didn't have the number line, you would say, look, we're already 3 below 0. We're going to go another 7 to the left. We're going to go another 7 more negative. So if we're 3 away from 0, we're going to go 7 more away from 0. So we're going to be 10 to the left of 0, or negative 10. Or another way to think about it, let me draw the number line there. Always better to have a visual. So we're starting, so this is 0. We're starting at negative 3. We're starting at negative 3. And to that, we're adding negative 7. So we're starting at negative 3. The absolute value is negative 3 at our starting point. To that, we're adding an another negative 7. We're going to move negative 7 to the left. So we're adding, let me draw this. We're adding a negative 7 right over here. We're adding a negative 7 right over here. So what, what's the length of this right over here? The absolute value of negative 7 is equal to 7. That's the length of this arrow, but we're moving it to the left. The length of this arrow right here, the absolute value absolute value of negative 3 is 3. So we're already 3 to the left. Now we're moving 7 more to the left. So now we're going to be 10 to the left. We are going to be 10, 10 to the left. 10 to the left. This is literally. This is equal to the absolute value of negative 7. This is, let me do it in the order that we wrote it in the problem. So this is equal to the absolute value of negative 3. You want to use the same colors. The absolute value of negative 3 plus the absolute value of negative 7 plus the absolute value of negative 7. Negative 7. But we're to the left, we're to the left of 0. We've been moving to the left, so it's the negative of that, which is negative 10. So if your signs are the same, you can just kind of view, take the absolute values of them. Say, OK, that's how far we're going to move total. And we're that far away from 0 to the left, since everything was a negative number. So the answer here is negative 10. So that was y is equal to negative 3. Let's think about when y is equal to 0. When y is equal to 0, this expression up here becomes 0 plus 0, our y here is going to be 0, we do that in that same blue color, plus 0 plus negative 7, plus negative 7. Now, you add 0 to anything, it's not going to change the value. So this thing right over here, this is pretty straightforward. These don't matter. It's just going to be equal to a negative 7. Now let's do the last one, when y is equal to 7. So our expression is going to be 0 plus our y is equal to 7. So 0 plus 7. And then we have a plus a negative 7. Plus a negative 7. Now there's a couple of ways to do this. You could literally just say, well, adding a negative number is equivalent to subtracting the number. You could say this is equivalent to 0 plus 7 minus 7. Plus negative 7 is the same thing as subtracting a 7. The 0 doesn't matter, so this is equal to 7 minus 7 which is equal to 0. Another way to think about it, let's draw a number line. Let's draw a number line. So let's say that this is 0. We're starting off at 7. So we're starting off at 7. We're 7. We are 7 to the right of 0. And to that, we are adding a negative 7. So to that, we're going to add a negative 7. So we're going to move to 7 to the left of where we were. 7 to the left of 7, which was 7 to the right of 0. So this gets us back to 0 over here. So the answer is 0.